Seeing a picture on his Instagram where he's praying, he's leading Salah. Come on now. Come on. And there's people watching him. Come on. That's so awesome. So don't write people like Kevin Gates off. Everyone is nourishing their imans in their own way. Come on now. Come on now. To remove bad habits, it takes time. Why are you so hell-bent on making sure that people can't turn back to Allah? Way of Life SQ. Keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful. And <laughs> that after you're watching that cringe intro, you decide to spend some of your time here with me today. Inshallah, after you see these pictures and you watch this video, you too will fall in love with Kevin Gates. He will indeed win your heart. This title is absolutely real. Uh, the pictures that you've seen in the thumbnail are real as well. This is our brother, Kevin freaking Gates. Kevin Gates. What's the word for gate? Babe, what's the word for gate in uh, Urdu? Darwaza. Kevin Darwaza. Here, you will fall in love with him. Now, I want to be clear. In Darwaza's door, what's a gate? Bundi is a lock. Gate is a what? Gate. I just have to say it with more. Gate. Kevin Gates. Okay, I don't know. Someone in the comment section will tell me. Hey, sweetheart, sweetheart, listen to me. You hear daddy's recording and you're doing a whine. That's rude, Mady John. I love you. No cuts. This is what I have to deal with every single day if I want to make a video. The more I found myself isolating myself and locking myself in a room, the more difficult I found this to become. You know what I mean? I don't want to bother anyone either way, but no cuts. Straight to the face. Let's do this, right? In the past, and I'll link a video right over here, I've been critical. Critical of Kevin Gates. Like, Astaghfirullah! Why are you smoking weed, marijuana? Why are you tattooing? I became a boomer, right? And this is not because you shouldn't correct a person. It's because I lacked something that was foresight and understanding. And I was doing something called projecting. And a lot of us, we project our sins and bad deeds and negative thoughts that we have about ourselves onto others. So the next time someone starts becoming really, really rude to you, instead of reacting, understand that this is how they feel about themselves. And by releasing it onto you, it is therapeutic for them. Okay? So the next time your mom, your dad, someone starts violating you, understand that it's really that's how they feel about themselves and they're trying to release it onto you and project it onto you. Once you start seeing it from that perspective, it'll be easier for you that you'll actually start feeling bad for them. Wallahi! You'll feel bad for people like, you know, honestly, you're just, you're just, you're just, you know, there's something wrong. I hope that you're okay because for them to do that too, there's something wrong with them anyways, right? Here's the reason why I'm saying that he's going to win your heart, okay? You're on the largest of stages. You're on the largest of stages. Sure, you're doing your dirt. You're doing your dirt. But understand something that people can change. People can change. I've read so many times in the comment section, especially because especially because of like the Adam Sali stuff and all that sort of stuff. Oh, he's done. Brother, uh, they tried and he's done. Why are you so hell-bent? Why are you so hell-bent on making sure that people can't turn back to Allah? How much time do you have? Two approaching three. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, sweetheart. I love you. But the more your voice is out, Mary John, the more you're disturbing. I'm not telling you not to sweet, sweetheart, but you're just being annoyingly loud and whiny. Allah, Allah Ji doesn't like whiny people. You understand? I love you. Eat your cereal. Eat your breakfast. It's true. Allah doesn't like whiners. Do something about it. You know what I mean? Anyways. Yeah, man, my kids are not going to grow up on this idea that you just whine and complain and you're going to get stuff. No way. It's going to be ulta. It's going to be worse. Things get worse when you whine. Anyways. Okay. You're on the biggest platforms and you're doing all these things. You see something that we lack over here. There's people who come from a street lifestyle. A lifestyle that unless you were a part of, you and I won't get, won't vibe with nothing. Okay? Brother Kevin Gates was doing something for 30 years of his life in one specific way. He becomes a Muslim. Is he supposed to just, at a snap, change that? Drop it? Completely abandon everything? Yes, we hope. Yes, we hope. But it takes time. And I want to compare something right now. Take a look at the companions. Take a look at the time when they did become Muslims. But they still had some bad habits. 
It took time before Allah Azza wa Jal, out of his wisdom and hikmah, made sure that alcohol was impermissible. Why? Because for the first 13 odd years or so, Allah Azza wa Jal made sure that he made sure. How many times am I going to say, oh, calm down, it's cute, we made sure already. Come on now. Allah Azza wa Jal made sure last time to increase the love and plant the love of Allah for him in their hearts first because eventually when Allah is going to ask them for a huge thing to do a lifestyle change like quitting a alcohol or a substance they will do it because they love Allah Azza wa Jal. Now I'm not saying that he doesn't love Allah yet no what I'm saying is that bad habits take time to remove bad habits it takes time so if you're someone out there do you understand why I'm using making this video because Kevin Gates is a microcosm of someone who's turned their lives around back to Allah, but still has some bad habits. And I don't care how much celebrity he has, this is the story of everyone's life. Is it not true? Is it not true that you're trying to better yourself, but you're still addicted to uh, uh, pornography? Isn't it true that you're trying to better yourself, yet you still have some bad habits that you would want no one to know about? Wallahi, if you knew me, if you knew me, when I had, you know, really, really turned back to Allah, how much time he had left? MashaAllah, MashaAllah, approaching six minutes. If you knew me at the time I was turning back to Allah, and you saw that, but this brother is still drinking, but this brother is still smoking, but this brother is still messing with chicks, but this brother is still going out to these uh, weird places, these clubs and bars and all that, you would have said, bro, I stuck for Allah, what are you doing? Fear Allah, da, 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 da. And it's all true. You're my brother or sister in Islam reminding me is what you're supposed to do. It's all true. But you're also forgetting I had 20 odd years of my life doing what I wanted to do. It takes time. But you see, something that Allah had put in my heart which never existed. It never existed until Islam, which was guilt. You see, guilt is a seed of Iman. It's in our hearts. We feel bad for something. And the more we nourish it, take care of it, water it, the more it blossoms into a tree, a flower, or something beautiful. But it all depends on how much we are nourishing it. Everyone is nourishing their Imans in their own way. Come on now. Come on now. Uncut. Uncut. I don't have to write these things down. I don't have to do that. I've realized that I was holding my own potential away when I was cutting and over the editing my videos. Wouldn't you agree, babe? I was. She said, yeah. Because the thing is, this is what you used to do at the beginning. This is what I used to do in the beginning. This is what I used to do in the beginning. I have some cool videos coming out, guys. Me and my wife are going to eat. Let me show you. Hold on. Me and my wife are going to be eating this right here. We're gonna be doing a challenge, eating this bad boy right here. Come on now. Yeah, we're reading this ganja, dude. It's a, it's a tube of terror reaper pepper. Let me see if I can focus in on it. Yeah, wait one second. Come on now, no cuts. Don't do me like this. I have a Canon G7X Mark III, and I'm telling you right now, if you have a Mark II, stick with it. Stick with it. It didn't even work. If you have a Mark, if you have a Canon G7X Mark II, stick to the Mark II. Don't worry about the 4K. Don't worry about the 4K. I know, sweetheart. I know you don't, but I'm still gonna do it. Anyways, uh, I genuinely love spicy stuff. Okay, Mason, Mason, I'm recording. I love you. I love you. Okay. Yeah, man. Kids need to have respect. They need to understand that you can't just jump between conversations. When me and uh, uh, my wife are speaking, sometimes they just jump in, and I have to pause them and say no. You say, excuse me, you wait your turn to get in the conversation. This is how children learn discipline and manners. Otherwise, they're just, that's how kids start getting up out of their seats in school and start talking over everyone. Like, no, there's manners. You wait to jump in. It's like double dutch. When do I jump in? You wait, you bear with patience. I love them either way. Listen, if you would have saw me, you would have been like, how is this brother? And I am where I am right now. So don't write people like Kevin Gates off. Don't write people like Adam Saleh off. You see, these videos are reminders for everyone. It's not every day that I get to put Kevin Gates' name in my title for a real reason. Because when you do such a thing, it allows people to be like, oh, Kevin Gates, let me click him. But then the message is for everyone. It's not just for Kevin Gates. 
Seeing a picture on his Instagram where he's praying, he's leading salah. Come on now. Come on. And there's people watching him. Come on. That's so awesome. Can we appreciate that? Oh, but brother, he has a tattoo. Oh, brother, he's still getting tattoos. Oh, brother, he wears a chain. Oh, he's wearing gold. Okay, okay. First, assume the best in him for all those things are fake. Assume that's that CBD. Assume that that's platinum. Assume that, you know, it's old ink. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to get, I don't know. But even if you're not assuming the best, can you understand that it takes time to remove bad habits? So if you're someone who's trying to turn back to Allah and you're having trouble, congratulations, you're supposed to have trouble. Make sense? If you are turning back to Allah and you have some bad habits, I am letting you know, it's supposed to be difficult. Everyone's difficulty is different. For some, their difficulty is their parents and family are not making it easy for them to pray or practice their religion. For some people, the difficulty is they have substance abuse issues or jahiliya abuse issues. Remember something, we are all recovering sinners. So I, I want everyone to see this. This is not okay. That is your older sister, love her. That is your younger sister, have mercy on her. That is not okay. Do I make myself clear? That is not okay. Allah gave you one sister, love her. Am I clear, Dua? Respect her, am I clear, Haya? Both of you are going in a timeout, bye-bye. No cuts, I usually cut something like that. No, children need to understand this at an age right now. Parenting 101. Children need to understand. No one's shouting at them, but you got to be a little tough on them. You have one, one sibling. You got to learn to get along with them. Allah chose that sibling for you. So if you're someone over there, oh, my brother and sister always annoy me, get over it. They're your sibling. If they died tomorrow, you'd regret every negative thing you said about them, wouldn't you? Everyone has a different stroke. No cuts, guys. No cuts. I'm just coming to you right now. 12 minutes in, we're about to end it right now. Everyone has their own struggles. Everyone has their own fitness that they have to get over. For some people, the struggle is parents and family are not allowing them to practice their deen easily and openly. For some people, it is substance abuse. It's jahiliya. We're all recovering sinners. Do you understand this? We are all recovering sinners. It is easy for your brother to fall back into a sin. Why? Because I know how to do it. I know the roads. I know the ropes. I know how to perform that sin. It's easy for me to fall back into the sin of drinking. I know the ropes. I know how to make a drink, have a drink, order a drink. I know it's easy for me to fall back into the sin of zina. Why? I know the ropes. I know the game. I know how to spit game. I know how to bag a girl. I know how to do these things. It's easy for me to fall back into these sins. And so it is for you. It's easy if you're struggling with pornography for you to fall back on pornography. Why? You're always a recovering porn addict. I will always be a recovering uh, you know, alcoholic, a, a, a person who, uh, you know, uh, having zina or something. I will always be recovering from these things. Why? Because I know how to do them. The problem is you let your guards down. If it's porn, think about that thing that you get stuck doing again. Masturbating, pornography, whatever, right? Think about that sin. Think about that thing that you get stuck doing again. Okay. Why do you go back to it? It's because you know how to do it. You let your guards down. You think the shaitan convinces you, ah, it's okay, bro, two weeks, mashallah, without it. Yes, mashallah. But now you got to anticipate like, uh-oh, that bad habit's about to come back. Uh-oh, that sin is going to creep up on me again. Uh-oh, I'm going to desire to do it again. The same way you have a hunger to eat something, the same way you have a thirst to drink something, you're going to have a hunger and a thirst to commit that sin again. Wallahi, wallahi, you're missing out. If you're not watching this video, you are missing out. 
And I love the fact that people are missing out because it shows me that whoever watches this or listens to this is because Allah Azza wa Jal wanted you to listen to this, wanted you to watch this. I used to look at my matrix, how can I make my videos better, entertaining, I don't know, cut it, cut it like this, this is why my watch time, I only average 2.26 seconds of watch time. Two minutes and 26 seconds. How can I make people watch my video? Oh, I gotta make it more juicy. I gotta make it. No, no, no. This is Islamic advice. This is for the ears that Allah Azza wa Jal wants to hear. So if you've, by some miracle, made it to the end of this, it's because Allah wanted you to hear this. You understand? So if you heard it right now, the question and the test is this, what are you going to do about it? Now that Allah has clarified your doubts, increased your iman, done everything for you, what are you going to do about it? That's your test. Allah will question you about this as He will question me as well. I appreciate you guys listening so much. So thank you for sticking around. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, Thank you. I don't deserve a sub. Thank you for not subscribing. If you want to spend a little bit more time with me, click any of these videos right here. Sorry you had to see that with my kids, but listen, you got you to gotta check them. You got to check the kids, bro. As much as I love them, if you don't believe me, click one of these videos right here. I, hey, baby. Hey, beautiful. All that sort of stuff. But when you got to be firm when it comes to the discipline so they learn good manners, because guess what? The outside world will eat them up. If they have bad manners, they'll spit them out. The Messenger Salaam was sent to perfect our manners and I'd be doing them a disservice if I didn't teach them about those values. They have to love each other. All you siblings out there, uh, learn to love each other as well. Love you all for the sake of Allah. Until next time, I'm out.